Hey, good morning, Chuck here at Dapple Drain. Today we're going to use our mini jetter to clean a storm drain. It's a 12 inch pipe, and I'm pretty sure we can get across the street. Let's give it a try. So we're running the jet down through there. It's going through, it's pulling itself, it's full of sand. So we just got to keep going back and forth. So you can see we got all the way through. There's a lot of sand in there. This little mini jetter just cleaned a 12 inch line. So from this manhole, we used the mini jetter. We got all the way across, of course, over here to this manhole. Then we went into this storm drain and used the jetter again and sent it all the way back to a retention pond back there. And of course, the real problem here is there's a lot of sand in that line, but that retention pond is full of water and it, this water just doesn't have any place to go. What's happening is because there's groundwater so high, if you look over here where I see that caution flag, I put that in there the other day, you see the erosion. This soil is actually getting sucked down through the bricks of this manhole and it's just pulling all the soil down into the area. So the real problem here is that groundwater is so high, their retention ponds can't handle any more water. You know, we have a lot of rain here in Florida. I mean, a lot. And this line, or the golf course is behind this house, if you remember some of the other videos. All of that area directly, you see the mound right there? Hard to see it, but there's a mound there. And that's full of water too. So much water draining down through here, so much. The mini jetter did a good job on this 12 inch pipe surprisingly um, I mean it really cleaned it but the problem is not so much that there's sand in the line although there's a lot of sand in there which we've got clean now it's down in the bottom of the storm drains um, is if you watch as I walk over here to where this discharges you'll start to see this what looks like a pond and it's actually just a retention area it's totally flooded and it's probably about four feet deep and you can see as I get closer the next um, storm drain and this is called an overflow storm drain so it's a solid concrete square that goes down with pipes down in the bottom but the water has to flood up and over to get into the drain that keeps the sediment out of there and they work great but the way they designed these storm drains they're not working over on the curbs so if you listen carefully you can hear that water can you hear it as it overflows here and goes into the storm drain? So here at the discharge, this is a culvert. Just like you see a culvert going under your driveway, they're usually cut off about you know, 15 to 35 degrees and it can accept water or discharge water. This is a discharge from that storm drain. Where we put the jet in over there on the street, that came right over to here. But you can see it's flooded. It's all totally flooded. The overflow storm drain, which you see over there, is just a little too high and it needs to be lowered about six or eight inches so that this water can actually drain and then all that erosion that's taking place over there by the culvert and those two water meters would stop so what we're going to do is just go ahead and expose the culvert you know the concrete section of it hasn't been you can see all the side it hasn't been exposed for years and years but we need to cut it off there you know on chuck's side and we'll be done. So we went ahead and uncovered the culvert itself and you can see how big the culvert is supposed to be and of course all the sod that had been growing over it for years but again there's a 12 inch line that runs from this retention pond and that overflow all the way back to the storm drain back here by the street and no biggie the problem here is that groundwater is so high and that overflow is just a little too high. We're gonna leave an estimate to replace that or to cut it down to size. Um, still costly job, no matter what. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.